the lat push-up. So the lat push-up is super important for actually finding pushing and pulling movements. We'll talk about that more in a minute. So I want you to look at a 90 degree angle from your knee to your hip and your hip to your wrist. We're going to bisect that angle, making a 45 degree angle. And we're going to do three different versions of this. First one is you're going to listen to the ground. So you got three where you listen. You got three where you look, you're taking your nose to the ground. You got three where that left hand is actually going to reach. And when you do this, I actually want you to roll up onto your hip and I want you to keep your spine long. By keeping your spine long, you'll actually uh, make yourself we're actually going to find the lat a little bit easier. Now the lat is super important for all your pushing, your pulling, your running. It keeps your shoulder in place. You know, the shoulder's not really attached to anything. The arm isn't really attached to much. It's all soft tissue. So if you're using your upper neck muscles to do what your lat and serrator should be doing, you're going to have a really poor shoulder blade function. So look here, the spine gets all wiggly, and it, or you're taking your face to your knee. It's not really going to work. What we're really looking for is... 90 degree angle, knee to hip, hip to wrist, cut that angle in half at 45, three of listen, three of look, and three of reach with a straight spine. Uh, give that a shot and watch your push-pull get better. Thanks.